Yo, what's going on YouTube? Um, I got a question, and the question was, are, is there any major issues that would make me just turn my back on this whole situation? Not just with black women, but just in terms of the whole black community, where I'm literally a nomad just living my life. Right, you know, that, that Wolverine type, I live in the forest, in the wilderness, and I just do my own thing, and, you know, I'm not connected to anybody or anything. And I said, yes and no. Because what would make me turn my back is already happening. It's just a matter of time. You know, how much can I take it, right? How much exposure can I withstand without just pulling the plug and the first thing is just the lack of understanding I can understand if we were uh, maybe a hundred or <clears throat> two hundred years removed from a time where black people had it together relatively speaking okay um, but there are people our grandparents and great grandpa great grandparents who live in a time who can actually tell you about how things were right about how things could be when people understand the whole idea of the family and keeping it together and you know being professional and valuing academics there is a time you know people act as if there was never a time where black people had their shit together no not really there's a time so there's a template but people don't look at it, right? You know, what upsets me is sacrifices have been made by people who are still alive so that we can take the stick and run with it. Yet, we don't. Yet, we celebrate being an individual and being successful. So we celebrate the person with the good paying job in corporate America. <clears throat> who drives a Range Rover and who wears European clothes when there's people who quite frankly are more successful than we are and have their families intact but we act like that's enough and that's what kills me it's funny because the only reason why the, the, the black community is where it is now is because of our grandparents and the people before them they are literally the ones Think about it. This, think about the music. When people want to hear good soul music, or just good black music that speaks to something, you're listening to movie to, to music from the '70s and the '60s and the '50s. Think about it. When you want some pure, feel-good music that spoke to something, you're not in the '80s. You're not in the 90s. Yeah, there's some good R&B. Don't get me wrong. Get some good hip-hop. But in terms of music that spoke to the core of what's going on, you're not going to find it in the 80s, the 90s. You're not. It's not there. So the backbone, this whole single mother craze, oh, we're so successful and all this other good shit. Um, what is that banked off? The parents. Goes back to the whole, uh, uh, what's the movie called? The Players Club. Right, um, what's the main character's name? What was what was her name? Lisa Ray. When she went to work, where was she dropping off her child? Her grandparents' house. Take the grandparents away. The free babysitting. Right, and all that other good stuff. Would she be where she was in the whole movie? You know, would she be this quintessential single, uh, uh, independent single mother who's, you know, on her grind trying to make things better for, you know, her and her child without her grandparents there? No, she would not be. As simple as that. Right? You know, uh, how many black athletes do you know who pay more homage to their grandfathers than to their own fathers because their fathers weren't around. Right? How many? A lot. 
So what I'm trying to say is what would make me leave is just the continuing neglect of the foundation that people left before us. You know, people act as if we're just kicking ass when in reality we're going downhill. You know, people want to act like black people are going uphill, but in my opinion, we're going downhill because there was a time where you had people, black people, okay, who had the family, okay, but who also had the ability to provide for themselves. It, maybe it wasn't for a, an extended amount of time, but it was there. It was there. So we see it. So to see people now act as if being successful is just enough and they're kicking ass and, you know, they're just breaking down doors, it's amazing to me. We've already been business owners. There's already been black doctors and black lawyers. There's already We've already had that. We've already had black communities. It's already there. Just do your own research. Go talk to, you know, a, a, an elder. And you will quickly figure out that we're not doing anything new. We've owned businesses. We've owned home, multiple homes. We've, 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 done, we've been there, done that. It was just more so about maintaining. So, yeah, I will turn my back to me if I continue to see people who just hold on to this whole idea that I'm so successful. As if other people don't have the same success and probably even more and still have their families together. Right? How successful are Asian people? Highly. Is their family in question? No. Indian people? Other people? No. Just as successful. Family still intact, but we're celebrating the person who, you know, doesn't even have a career, but because they scraped up enough money to, to buy a, a used Range Rover and pay rent or live in a, a, a piss poor area where their homes aren't going to go up in value. Those are the people that we want to champion or championing people who work for corporate America who don't even own it, who are the CEOs, the head employees. Right, the deadly do rights of white corporate America. Those are the people that we want to champion and promote. When we've had a time where we owned our own and we had our own families. Yeah, I, I would think most people would leave if you saw a world where people don't understand what people were doing before you. Like I said, these people are still alive. The saddest thing is when these people slowly pass away. It's It's really going to be a horrible situation really you know just imagine what Michael Jackson did to the world of music right just imagine how just compare that to the black community when our elders you know our grandparents and our great great grandparents start to move on just the impact that it would have um, running out of time but the second one I would make me leave is how we treat each other, man. Um, I get upset when I see black men step their game up for um, non-black women. So the whole, when I'm with black women, I have my Tims on, okay? But when I'm with non-black women, I put on my suit, I speak proper, I know how to talk, you know, I, I, I'm respectful. But, and the same thing for black women, right? The whole... If you're a black dude, all I have to do is tell you I have no kids and I'm educated and you're supposed to be all over me. But then step up their game with white men or other groups of men. that And they know that saying that you have no kids and you have a job means nothing. So you better think outside the box. You better be more. You better not be superficial or surfacey because they will look down upon you. So to see black men and women step their game up for other people, but treat each other like shit, I think that would make anybody want to turn their back and just move on. I speak about, not, not even as much as I used to, but I speak about interracial relationships because there's stuff that we can take and apply that to how we deal with each other. Simple as that. The whole idea of connecting with somebody outside the box. That is something that we need to do with each other. 
Simple. Simple. Nothing more, nothing less. But to see people, right, to see black people treat each other as poorly as we do in terms of what we have to be or what we're supposed to accept out of each other, you know, it's almost heartbreaking. You know, it is what it is. It, 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 I don't even know what more I can say. Like I said before, those seeds have already been laid inside of me. It's just a question of how much more can I take, my guess. How much more can I really withstand and put up with before I just break and not care anymore? So, you know, I'm sure other people feel the same way. But, you know, it is what it is. So hopefully I answered your question. You guys take it easy. God bless.